Self-employed is also another great way one can make money. Last week, I spoke about an employee. I took my time to explain it to make sure that people understand what an employee means. I have been an employee before, so I know what I'm saying. And I also took my time to interview some people and they shared with me the advantage and disadvantage. So I'll urge you to go there and watch that video. If you really want to go into an employee, if you want somebody to employ you, then you need to watch that video. It is very important. Now let's come back to today's topic that is self-employed. Self-employed, it's somebody who don't want to work for anyone. That person don't want to work for the government or somebody else. That person has decided to work for himself or herself. So let's pick this example, doctor. Let's say we have a doctor and that doctor is a gynecologist. We have something called unforeseen circumstances. What does it mean? It means that something can happen to you without you being aware of that. You can fall sick. That is what? Unforeseen circumstances. So far as you are a human being, that thing can happen to you. So assuming that we have a doctor who has built her own hospital, okay? And she had decided to be the doctor in that hospital. Of course, she's going to employ nurses, cleaners, accountants, you can name them. So she's the one paying all these people. So they look up to their boss. Now, and their boss is the only head in that hospital. She don't want people to come there and maybe stealing from the company. She want peace. She don't want to be like paying so many people. So she feel like, okay, I'm a gynecologist. So I can be the boss in this clinic or in this hospital. What about if something happens to that doctor? If maybe she was traveling, she had an accident, or maybe she fell sick and she was not able to go to maybe her clinic for some months. Now, remember, she is the boss in that hospital. Without her, nothing goes on. So if clients come there, somebody who wants to come there and look at, you know, whether she's having a fibroid or endometriosis, and that person goes to that hospital and the nurses told her that the doctor is not around. She has traveled or she's not feeling well. Do you think that person will allow the nurses to take care of her? The answer is big no. She will not agree that. So she will go back. So let's say when people start coming there and then that same information are given to them. Do you think they will allow the nurses or the accountants to go ahead and take care of them? No, they will go back. And when they do that, what happened? They are going with their money. So at every moment, the money sees coming to the hospital because the patients are going back. And anytime that happens, if care is not taken, that company will go down because there is nobody taking care of the hospital because you are the boss that is self-employed. So one of the advantages is what? You're going to have time for yourself. Nobody will control you. You decide what to do. You take a decision because you are the boss. And then the disadvantage is that you are going to lose a lot of things. Money is going to stop flowing to your account or to the hospital one day. Because so far as we are human beings, something can happen to you. And when that happens, the money ceases. The money cannot flow again. And what happened? You're going to start losing your workers. The nurses will start leaving because no money coming you are not able to pay them and they're going to be like, no, I can't work again. I got to go back. Your cleaners will leave, your accountants will leave. And that might bring the downfall of your company. So you have to understand the advantage and disadvantage. That is why I use this example. So you can look around you. Just look around you. Anybody who is self-employed, sometimes they do go through a lot. Sometimes they face exactly what i've shared with you right now why because they are the boss of that particular business when they are not there nothing goes on when they are not there they close their business and there is no money that is going to flow to the company's account it can bring the company down so please based on this example and based on this explanation i believe you've understood what self-employed means so if you want to go into self-employed if you want to you know Work for yourself. You got to make sure you take into consideration the disadvantage of what you are trying to go in. Now, on my next topic, 
I'm going to explain business owner. Who is a business owner? We're going to look at the advantage and disadvantage based on my research, based on my experience, and based on what some people, some businessmen, some businesswomen have shared with me. So stay tuned. Make sure you become part of this community. Over here, we look at how we can get financial freedom, nothing else. A lot of programs are coming on this very channel. So stay tuned with me. Have a good day. Have a good morning. Have a good evening. Bye for now.